Hi, this is Medi Ivy Harrison. I'm a national best-selling author and I run a writing mentorship program, which is a 10-week program where I do video consults every week. I read everything you write that week and we talk about it. I can guide you through figuring out how to write in scene, all the sort of writerly things, dialogue, character, how to shape a plot. But I also specialize in talking people through the psychological problems that get in your way, the voices in your brain that get you to not ever sit down and write, and sometimes the voices that tell you it's not good enough, um, I can't figure this out, and get you to stand up while you are planning to write and leave and do something else. So I work on that, and today I want to talk about, specifically about people who are working on memoir. This is something that I have been saying the last several months, with my clients who are working on a memoir and I wanted to record it so that those of you who can't afford to hire me to work for you personally can still have this message. The message is that you deserve to have a place where you are safe to tell yourself the truth about your story. And the safest place that I can think of is your book. And when you sit down to write, I don't want you to think about what other people will think of what you said. I don't want you to think any more about whether or not they will say that it is true because you have lived your entire life hearing other people tell you that your version of the truth is not true. It happens sometimes in malicious, abusive ways and sometimes it happens in less abusive, subtle ways that other people tell you what the truth of your own life is. And this is a gift that you are giving to yourself, that you are going to write the book that is your book, that is your truth, it is the fullest truth that you can offer. And each draft of this book is going to become closer and closer to the truth. And that is a gift to yourself. But the bigger gift that you are giving to yourself is the gift of the person that you will become on the other end of this draft. That person who you will become after you have finished this book is a person who is whole because that person has integrated all of the memories of all of the things that have happened. And that person has survived them all, has survived looking them in the face and saying, yes, that happened to me. That person has survived writing them down, no longer trying to hide the truth, no longer making excuses for other people. That person can hold their head high. And whether or not you publish the book, actually, at that point, I'm, I can't, I'm, I, it matters less to me because... To me, the work of becoming the person on the other end of the book is the most important part. Although I do still believe that your book matters. I don't work with people whose book doesn't matter. And the more that I work with people, the more I see that everybody's story matters. And um, that the world needs your book. And that there are people out there who have been through what you have been through. And they need you to write it down for them so that then when they read it, they say to themselves, Oh, now I know my truth too, and they deserve that gift. But first and foremost, I want you to give the gift of your true story to yourself.